Turn 61, Medieval Era, Golden Age. I think it still makes sense to keep in Monumentality. Yeah, there's no Hicksong Draconis, we're still too early. Yeah, fair, fair. I thought we were a little bit further into the game. We, we really aren't. But Chorus on the same turn, how is that for optimization? We are getting 20% of 279 faith per turn. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. We could be getting more faith from something like Pilgrimage if I were to improve my Apostle and my Religion. So we're going to just do that quickly, spend a little bit of faith. you got to have faith. That's what they say. I'll take them at face value. Where are the trader? Have I got another trader? Producer trader. Ah, I think I've picked up another trade route from somewhere in a second. <laughs> I don't know where. What did I do? How did I do that? Diamonds. Ooh, okay. My capital can't get any industries, actually. That, that could have been an oversight. I'll have to make products later. Let's get this industry sorted. Lovely. There's the last admiral. And we're on to medieval ones. Okay, right. We'll keep an eye on these points. Medieval great people are twice as expensive. However, the projects that we are doing with Hong Kong's help are beginning to give us more points. The more of a tech or civic tree you've unlocked, there's a sort of weird ratio calculation that it works on it finds the tree out of the tech and civic tree that you've done the most percentage on and it multiplies that percentage by the amount of production that your projects need but it also does the same thing to the great people points your projects give so for instance if i have a 50 production encampment training and an 82 production encampment training they give the same amount of great people points as a ratio it's just that one takes longer to do so it, it's not a huge thing but definitely so does that make any sense in my head that made sense i <laughs> I, I, I don't know Let's get some banks. It was at that moment that Ursa realized that he had lost it. Okay, 350 gold for my unique cavalry. It's five iron, but it's 55 strength, and we can clear up some continents with it, which I'm really looking forward to now. So, yeah, we're absolutely going to do that. Era score is a really important thing. I want to make sure I get as much era score as I can. I haven't really not been keeping track of it as I should have been. Like, there's, there's too much stuff going on in my head. <laughs> This game is so complicated in trying to optimize and maximize everything. I, I, I'm very, very aware that I've probably forgotten a couple of bits and pieces here and there, but what, what can you do? Forms a fleet. We have a fleet. Yes, it's a galley fleet, but it's a fleet nonetheless. We have settled near Singi as well. We've almost got a third of the era score we need to get to a normal age, and it's still the same turn. <laughs> <laughs> we went into this era. Oh. Okay, Simbad, I need you to go away now because I need to get your relic and summon you back for some more charges. Hercules has only 280 faith to summon back. That's hilarious. I would love it if I could send out better trade routes and I'd also love it if great people... Oh yeah, double great people. What's the one I'm really struggling with out of everything? I don't think I'm actually struggling with either of them, but engineering points are the ones that will give me the most benefit, I think. So we'll put seven votes in on both and hopefully i'll win both we're not counting points but there we go it just means that we get i think i was looking at that and it's like oh if we'd gone for like a failure on that one and it went to zero engineering points i would have been slightly concerned but no i think we're okay there's another library. There's another university. Printing is boosted. Excellent, but I need you to now be doing campus research grants. Oh, goodness me. These projects are getting a little expensive in the cities without production. My uh, holy sites are very, very useful for that. How can I improve my religion now? Faith. It's got to be faith. You've got to have faith. It doesn't improve the Void Singers, unfortunately, but it is still bonus faith for Settlers, and that in itself is a wonderful thing. An immunity in all my cities, or a what? Hmm. Mosques are useful. Meeting house. I mean, yeah, just just solid. I think I might just get solid faith. Synagogues. Yeah. Feels like a bit of a, a bit more of a boring choice out of all of them, but it does do what I need it to, which is just 120 faith for like a bunch more faith. So. <laughs> Is it worth it? Probably not. Another great general. How's my score doing? 815. Pretty good. Pretty good considering I've got basically no wonders at the moment. I will take that. We really need to start settling again and this is the city to do it. And luckily for me, I have a bit of a plan. What I'm going to do is just buy a couple of tiles and chop out the harbour. Which is good, because now I can get the lighthouse, which means that'll level up next turn. I can build a sugar in this city 
uh, next turn and get the settlers nice and cheap although I am going to just I mean the settler is a little expensive but 370 let's just do it I've got the faith at the moment okay we can get the settlers out again now that's wonderful inquisition a bit more era score remember era score just translates directly to score so I like it there's Sinbad gone okay perfect <laughs> we can get Sinbad and Hercules back now and we go all the districts have either been built or have been placed around this middle last city so we now have the capacity and time to be on 140 Eight, holy turn holy sight that's ridiculous oh dear right here we go as pr promised we've got uh sugaba it's it's not particularly well placed i appreciate but that's not the point of this sugaba sugaba is there to make my purchases cheaper which we have now done so now i can get a 245 faith settler that's a lot cheaper yeah fair play my first engineer and we can do that in my capital imatep is up next as well perfect now before we use our engineers i do need to build mausoleum which i've been meaning to do for some time i've been putting it off because i've been getting all of these projects out but it's about time we are at that stage of the game where we can start to do a bit of a wonder rush now which is always a lot of fun two more cities we have this one and we have this one yes delightfully named i know get this sugar butt finished and i mean i could do a pretty decent holy site on these uh, tiles actually so i will and we're gonna bring hercules down to get it finished as quick as possible look at this hey synergy there's petra this is in my central desert city it's actually quite a good trading city which is a good thing but look at that i've got an oasis i've got some is that sheep in a pasture some mines city will actually benefit quite nicely from petra but well, more importantly my empire will because i need to score but still it's all good mass production oh yes we'll get cartography and then we'll get square rigging and then industrialization there's another admiral and another merchant trade routes to my own cities now uh, i should probably save some of these merchants for industries later but uh, i've got such a, a huge amount of them i don't need to worry about saving them they, they really are everywhere military science boosted because i killed with a cavalry yes another city we are settling nicely oh a wine industry lovely oh i can trade with bandar brunei now hey that's handy actually can i do that from my big cities oh a lot of my big cities i'm actually just working on high culture routes at the moment anything that gives me culture normally gives me a bit of gold and a bit of faith and it all balances out nicely but i'm already up to almost 300 culture per turn which is pretty crazy indonesia is starting to settle as well that is a good thing trust me we will we will return to that in a second what is going on here no no southwest i i i disapprove i say no to that storm so i'm cancelling it another workshop done industrialization boosted there's Emma Tap. Okay, that's really good. Right, we will quickly get the mausoleum finished, hopefully. Can we do that? Is that a thing we can do? Oh, two turns. It's going to make me wait. Never mind. There's a scientist who can provide a boost and another great writer with some really good works of writing. Plus another governor. Um, I don't know what to do with these now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got too many governor titles. Tax collector. A little bit more gold. Let's do that. Merchant who can produce a bank that can hold great works. Gee, that's quite handy. Let's pop that in. Lovely. Okay, how are we doing? We're up to Renaissance and Merchant. That's a bad hit on that front, but that's okay. Still producing some very cheap wonders. Oh, industrialization was just inside a tribal hut, apparently. Don't question the logic. Don't, don't. I can hear you questioning it. Don't do it. How did I get, uh, did I get lucky on coal? Do I have coal? Is there coal anyway? Yes, I've got some coal. Not a lot of coal, but it's fine. Just a little bit. So let's get that factory sorted and a coal power plant. Yay. Oh, my nation has a lot more production in it now. That was a, that was a very good little pickup. Now, I've industrialized. Let's get steam power. Two movement for embarked units and railroads. In fact, I should get military engineering first, then robots. Oh, yes. I could really use some railroads, I have to say. I've actually got a Colosseum placement that works on eight of my cities. Nine once I get Kamasi. That's that's pretty cool. Ah, Australia. I found Australia. Perfect. Okay, right. We'll go and settle that next. I have definitely reached that stage of the game where I need to start settling everywhere. And next turn, I'll just get Simbad again to get myself a bit more gold, but also to go and explore South America quickly. But there's Mausoleum. Science, thief, culture. Not important. The, <laughs> the engineer charge. That's the important bit. We all know this by now you know the drill mausoleum yes pretty yields it's all really lovely people love it but it's not the point 
No, we feast upon those great engineer points. We consume them. They sustain us. It is the true Void Singer way. Perfect. Okay, right. Got some very cheap wonders that I can be popping down now. There's a great lighthouse and a colossus we'll do after that. Killwer is important. It's very important, but I'm going to delay on getting that until I've got the entertainment complex sorted. Oh, my capital is now um starving. Don't mind that. That's totally fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. As a general, went up to Renaissance on generals now, and we have uh, still a couple of things like engineers and stuff to use, but this is a good. Why have I not got Vissel banking in? Oh, uh, sir. Don't, don't. Oh, no, that's a mistake. All of these trade routes are, yeah, okay. <laughs> I should have had vessel banking in. Oh, actually, that helps quite considerably. A lot of my starving cities are no longer starving. Really up into Europe now. Exciting stuff. That's what you like to see. Just need more sugabas. It's basically anything that gives us a trade route. That's that's the main thing we're going for here. There we go. We found Japan. Yay! Did I meet everyone first or did Indonesia actually get around to doing it before I did? No, I did it first. Hey, they still got one city actually. They haven't left their island. Dear oh dear. I'm getting 32 engineering points without any projects. It should be 16. It's being doubled by the World Congress. But that, that is very nice. And another scientist now as well. Things are progressing, I would like to say, steadily. Exploration, astronomy, metal casting. Nice. It's turn 70. We just went to a thousand score. So, like, only just a thousand, and we're on turn 70. Is that good? I don't know whether that's good or not. I can't. I can't tell you. Like, I think it's pretty good. But I, I, I also have this sort of like, you know, crippling insecurity about it. That's terrifying. Oh, it took so long. Himiko's finally made it over to Hong Kong. 50 faith each time I get an envoy over here. That's pretty good. It's well worth it. I think you actually get more faith from picking her up than you do from not. So I'll take it. Great bath. That's another one to add to my collection. Steam power means that I can start to put down some railroad now. It took me a while to do anything useful here, but I'll do my best. Ooh, yeah. I've just noticed we've got some really good trade routes starting to appear now. 37 gold, but dirt. Oh, 10 gold. Culture. Yes, 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 yes. That's really good stuff. Steam power makes me very quick at sea, though. Very quick at sea. Oh, and Forbidden City. Forbidden City is one that I should have built ages ago. Gives me a much better government, and I like better governments. It's a forbidden government. Yes. Hercules is just busy making some beautiful holy sites over in this area for me. It's brilliant. Looks beautiful. An arena in my capital means that I can now pop down Colosseum. It says three turns. I laugh at your three turns. One turn will do nice. I have to say, even this very small map is absolutely excessively big. It's, it's really, really big. Colosseum finished, however, a bunch more culture. That's the Mian Akshi Temple. Is that how you say that? <laughs> I don't know. But I got some gurus. Oh, and Haja Severe. This is all in the same turn, which is pretty cool. That's a good dump of air score. Excellent stuff. And look at all these great people as well. Beautiful. There's a writer. There is a merchant. There is an engineer. Oh, that's a good engineer. Oh, it's my favorite culture bombing engineer next. Lovely. And there is an admiral. So we still have an admiral, a scientist, a writer. There's still a couple to get from this era, but not a huge amount. Buenos Aires. Another actual city-state that exists on this world. Oh my lord, look at that. Oh, and it's actually discovered all of this coast for me as well. There's a lot of land. There is a lot of land to be settling. Speaking of, I really, if I just need to get my settler on to Australia, get the Sugaba finished, and then get Magnus over here for a bit. Great lighthouse, movement for naval units. Very useful. Probably should have built that a little bit earlier to get my settlers out. But hey, with steam power, we're now, we've got a shift done. We're, we're pretty quick. Printing. Oh, that's Forbidden Palace. Or Forbidden City. You know what it is. What, whatever it is, it's forbidden. Okay? This holy site district's faith adjacency gives me science. Question. Uh, there's a plus nine and it's in my capital. So that is absolutely where I'm going to use you. City on Australia. Okay, right. What we'll do then is I'll just pop this settler into the sea. I will buy another settler and then Magnus over you get to Oceana. Normally, I'd go for a holy site next to all this desert, but as I've mentioned before, the Sugaba is definitely the option for me here, just to reduce the faith cost of everything. Oh, there's markets. There are markets being able to be popped down now as well, which means I'm getting more traders, which is more, more stuff. Doesn't look like Auckland's in the game. What, what sort of TSL map is this with no Auckland, honestly? Oh my lord. The UK is flooded with barbarians. Oh, my cavalry is almost dead. Oh dear. 
Let's uh, ignore that ever happen. Kilwar in my capital. So I think I've got at least two industrial city-states and at least one mercantile and at least one cultural. All of these are very good. We'll go and see uh, what we can do. And then Colossus as well. One trade route capacity. Hey, just the trade route alone is pretty good. Oh, it's my Nanki. I forgot I was building that, but that is fine. I, I really am splitting up the wonder load between all of my cities here. Like if I can get like 17 cities all simultaneously building wonders, that exactly, yeah, that's literally what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, some good routes to Buenos Aires now. We are getting some fantastic trade routes. Tell you what, the one thing I am a little concerned about here is that I'm not settling enough. I've got 26 turns and yeah, I feel like I need a lot more cities than I currently have. I need to also remember to put down the Sugabas only because they give more score than anything else. We really can't underplay the value of score on this challenge. I'm just going to keep throwing my faith at these things. Look at this. I What I can do quickly. Oh, that's a little bit of an army. I say an army. It's a single scout. It feels like an army to me. Let's see what I could do is chop this out. I don't think I have a zone of control issues, aren't there? I hope that scout doesn't kill me. <laughs> I need to bring my cavalry back. First railroad though. Yeah. Yay! We're still making Railroad. Still an Ursa game after all. My aim really is to build every wonder in the game. Or as get as close to it as we can. So we are dividing and conquering between any city that can produce a wonder. I know how many turns I've got left. If it says that I can build it in that sort of time. I'm building it in that sort of time. So there's Mashapishi. Grants three envoys, merchant. Uh, you know what? Envoys? Not a thing I'm worried about particularly. Oh, did I mention we would have won a tourism victory, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I got to that point. No, not particularly hard to get to that point, I, I won't lie, but uh, we did it. First settlement in Brazil, though. Another uh, bunch of era score. We'll immediately get the Sugaba down so that I can, you know, pump more settlers out in this area as quick as I can. These trade routes are getting increasingly good now. Oh, yeah. I just want to trade with city-states, to be fair, but all of these long-range trade routes, like hundreds and hundreds of gold between them now. Banking! Oh, putting banks down will help to get me quite a bit of gold, especially because banks are worth uh, plus eight at the moment with both of my city-states combined. Great engineers can culture bomb. Oh, what a what an amazing engineer. I say this every time I pick him up. It really is. It's just so good. I'm thinking Angkor Wat should be pretty much the last wonder I build, right? That's that's the, the sort of final flourish because I'll get one population in every single city in my empire. I mean, that in itself sounds like a pretty fun deal, which, uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like the sound of it. What do I want to unlock now? Corporations? Economics? It's probably not a bad shout for any Civ going straight for money, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Capitalism, though. Market economy. That's a card that I want. Oh, yeah. And uh, laissez-faire could be good as well. It's actually quite a lot of faith, this wonder. I think it had about five cities around it. An admiral who grants a free trader in a city. Nice. Okay, up to Renaissance on admirals now. It's just the writers. It's just the great writers. How many have we got? One, two, three. I think there's only four in the Medieval evil era so i'm hoping that will be enough capital oh yeah look at that capital is done nicely just treat it to a few buildings because we're getting tons of great people just in this city passively you may have noticed that i'm not oh washington there we go run out of names you may have noticed we're not worrying too much about actual housing in cities like yeah population does give you score and that is a thing uh, even district adjacency on these like spam cities not a problem really just getting as many cities down as possible that is the big challenge challenge here. Turn 78 and we are now settling in the Caribbean. Yay! Uh, yeah, cool. We got the last write-up. On to Renaissance writers now. Perfect stuff. I may have made myself a couple of ironclads as well. It's about time we took out Indonesia and Japan. I could use some more cities. Feel, feels a bit harsh, but yeah, I don't actually feel too bad about it. That tribal village just had the boost to not just suffrage and democracy, but also class struggle and communism. What was going on in Ireland? Some really deep philosophical conversations about governmental practices. That's... That's uh, that's quite something. Oh, why did I do that? I knew that was there. I knew that was there and I still jumped in. Oh, I actually need to keep an eye on my carbon output. I think I may be starting to flood the world, which normally doesn't matter. But if I'm the only person on the world, then, you know, all I'm doing is screwing myself over, which I mean, that sounds rubbish. 
my Australian base is well and truly set up now that we're pumping settlers out all over Australia up to above 1,500 score. I'll be honest with you now, when I had a look at this, 100 turns, I think I had about 3,000 score as a, as a sort of good, I wouldn't even call it par. Like for me, that would I would consider 3,000 score to be a success. So that's kind of what I have in mind. Whether or not we'll get anywhere near that, I don't know. Casa gives me some governor promotions. Otherwise, I could get, yeah, some of the production, faith, gold, that sort of stuff, but it's not really going to do a huge amount for me, so I won't worry about it. We do have economics though, so we can make ourselves uh, lovely trades and, and corporations and get some really good bonuses but that's something we could probably think about all right indonesia sorry about this i i'm very much i'm sorry about this but you have two cities that i want ironclad number one can i just one hit the city oh <laughs> no but it's very close oh my lord that was close can i one hit this city is that something i can do yes it is Oh wow. Yeah, sorry Indonesia. I you you've just been chilling on an island and then I show up out of nowhere and it's like, "Hello." I mean, I have every governor now. I'm not sure what they're doing. I'm just putting them on different continents, but yeah, governors, replaceable parts and ideology. Ooh, ideology is quite good. That will give me economic union, which that gives me a lot of gold. Oh my lord, we need a better government. I think I am going to go democracy. I didn't want to remove my government at the moment because it's giving me 15% discount on purchases with faith. But democracy gives me 15% discount with gold. And I have more gold than I do faith. So I think the time has actually come to make that switch. Oh yeah, still getting some pretty good great people as well. Leonardo da Vinci, boosting combustion. Seems to always be something that they do. Got some toys as well. Everyone likes toys. We also now have a settlement on India to go with my Australian and Indonesian holdings. Look at these! Yay! Two cities taken. I kind of do wish Japan had settled some more. I don't know whether having the AI on settler difficulty, like, was that the best thing to do? If maybe we could have gone emperor or prince or something that's equally as, like, easy to, to kill, but maybe they would have settled more cities? I don't know. I don't, like, that. that is a point of debate. Maybe if I did this again, I'd try a slightly more difficult mode. Voting. I'm going to culture bomb all districts. That sounds really good. And I'd like less grievances. That's uh, it's got nothing to do with Japan that at all. It's mainly just so that I can live with myself in a world where I am truly alone. That's <laughs> the tragic thing about it. Patala Palace! I am finally now starting to get some more cards for my government. I reckon I probably should have rushed these wonders a little bit sooner, but never mind. Gold purchase discounts though. Excellent. We've got a lot more flexibility now with our government. Logistics I still like. That's really good. Public works, every time I make a city, extra two builder charges means I can chop out a load more stuff. Stuff. I like that. Scripture's good. Triangular trade is good. Colonial taxes and Raj. Don't forget Raj gives city-state trade routes two extra gold. So that's the huge benefit there. And then it's a case of, do we think we're going to get more from economic union and market economy? So that'll give me a lot of gold. Or do I go for New Deal and all of the extra amenities that'll give and Republican legacy? That will keep my cities happy. I think we're just going to say happiness is, is long gone and go economic union and market economy. Let's just focus on all of the trade route gold that we can. We're going from 1,700, oh yeah, to 2,296 gold. That's, that's big. Okay, so Thief, yeah, we can just about afford to build one Settler every turn now, or purchase one Settler every turn. Cavalry, only 285 gold to buy. That's uh, that's very cheap. In, in Sugaba cities, that is. I'm, I'm trying to make all of my purchases in Sugaba cities, but now that we're doing that, oh yeah, we're pumping Settlers out now. Santa Cruz forms an armada, very tasty, and ooh, three more bonuses. I, I think we're actually quite ahead on tech, so I'm not sure she's going to provide anything, but we'll give it a go. Ballistics, oh, that's it. Okay, that's fine. Quite a few wonders now. There's Royal Valley in my capital, 20% production in that city. Stonehenge in just a little city to the north. Like, these little uh, ancient era wonders are quite good just to, you know, pump out in random places. 1,800 score now. And my first musician. Hey, actual music time. Oh, Nana Doll exists this entire time. 
How did I not spot that? Oh, my lord. Well, there's an efficiency. I thought, for whatever reason, Nanadol was further... I think I'm getting it confused with Rapanoi, aren't I? I mean, that could still be in the game as well. I don't know. I mean, I should know the city states I put into the game myself. But there we go. 664 culture goes to 924. That's a big step up. Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. When you have bar problems, uh, the best thing you can do is just use a fleet of retired admirals to just randomly spawn in something that's incredibly powerful and kill it off. It was the most excessive use <laughs> a bunch of admirals i've ever had that's mad suez canal city though yay apparently it's called houston i i wouldn't trust that suez forbidden city more government cards yes Yes. Oh man, guaranteeing that we've got every single wonder placed on the map is it's really hard. I'm having to seriously think about this. Turn 84 and I'm above a thousand culture. It's pretty good. I like that. I do apologize, Japan, but I am going to come and uh, borrow your city. I say borrow. I, I have no plans right now of giving it back. That I should point out, but you know, it, otherwise it's borrowing. So this is actually one of the more interesting random secrets secrets about Civ 6. I have Domination Victory turned off. However, if you do kill everybody on the map, so it's literally just you, you get this. It just says victory. Everyone else has lost, therefore you've won. <laughs> <laughs> it's the genuine secret victory type. It's not a score victory. It's the you blew everything up. What did you expect victory? Still though, a score. It's not above 2,500. So we will keep playing. According to the rules of the challenge, we get until the end of turn 100. And we get to have a look and see where it's at on the beginning of turn 101. Taj Mahal. Again, I feel like I should have rushed this wonder a little bit earlier than the sort of a turn I've pulled it off. One extra era score from every moment that gives you two or more. That's a lot of score that I've possibly missed out on. So yeah, we'll see if that come back, uh, comes back to bite me, but hopefully not. Oh my lord, so many great people. There's Newton, there's John Jacob, and there's Francis Drake. My new favorite thing, by the way, is to get Francis Drake on any map with Elizabeth. Like that, that feels like quite a lot of fun. That is my 50th city. Wow. I'm honestly not sure what I expected, but that feels to me like I'm on course to kind of hopefully do what I set out to do here. I don't know. 3,000 score at the moment seems a little far off, but if I can pull that off, I think that's like, that's fairly decent, especially especially because it's like a one go run, you know? I'm also a great believer in the fact that if you caveat things enough, then anything seems truly good. <laughs> Oh, go to Tokyo, Magnus. Come on, we'll go and settle around this area now. Okay, now I just found the secrets to fascism in a tribal hut. What is going on in this world? Why are so many tribal villages having, like, deep philosophical chats about government? I, I don't know. Don't, don't look here. Um, this, this is just uh, an Englishman settling Falklands. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's not a problem. In five turns, I'm going to have a bit of a choice. This is something I am keeping an eye on. That'll be turn 91 out of 100. I'll be able to go Monumentality again, or I could go Hicksunk Draconis. Now, the advantage to the latter is that my units move faster, and I settle four population cities instead of one, which gives me a lot more population and empire score because of that. But if I went Monumentality again, I could continue to build settlers cheaper. I think I probably will end up going Hicksunk Draconis, which means at some point I need to wait on my settlers. I need to not pop them down because I'm going to get extra population if I wait and get it. It's five turns. Is that too many turns to wait? Probably feels like it is, but it's a bit of a crazy strategy. So you know what? No, I'm going to actually leave it. I'm going to wait with all of these settlers until we get Hick Sunk Draconis. Will I come to regret that choice? Probably, but you know, sometimes you just have to do crazy things like this. I tell you what, national parks are probably a really good thing to be building round about now, aren't they? <laughs> that, that, ah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Because national parks, well, they give era score and also happiness, but era score mainly. Hmm. I will consider this. This could be a good idea. Here's Huey in a lake. Kotukin in a desert. Actually, 20% faith in a city is pretty good. I should have probably done that in a bigger city. I always forget about that little bit. It's more of a statue. Oh, the warrior monks. Let's just make an army of warrior monks because we can. There's one thing you need to know about this channel is that we always take no pride in building university but sometimes you just have to do it in the name of a challenge so there you go it's there 
I can do flight. Now I can do advanced flight. Yay! Actually, tons of stuff. Oh yeah, of course, to get three tacks, don't I? Ah, yes. I have made so many Sogabas this turn. I'd like, there's probably four or five. My trade routes are now starting to multiply like crazy. So it's beautiful. Let's get some national parks down though. Five era score. Oh, ho, 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 that's so much. And this one gives me four. So it's worth four era score each time. And, and it makes me very happy as well. So it's all good stuff. Yeah, very tempting. Very tempting indeed to build more of those. Another Admiral, another Merchant. That's my world famous Another Admiral, Another Merchant song. Um, just in case you hadn't heard that one before. Oh, Anansi. Uh, 60 science and 55 culture for a charge there. Um, yep, sorry. I think you're worth more as a relic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's harsh. One turn away from a mass settlement. Absolute mass settlement. I'm looking forward to that. We've gone to social media. Oh no, it's that time of the game. Going to get rid of market economy. Feels weird, but collective activism is a, it's a huge chunk of culture. I can't say no to that. See, another wonder production in Eiffel as well. We've got admirals coming in. We've got artists coming in. It's a bit of everything. I found rocketry in a tribal village and synthetic materials. I, what? The absolute, mo oh yeah, killing Sinbad worked well. The absolute moral of this story is just don't ask. Don't ask. Um, can I hire anyone else back uh, this last turn? No. Okay. Next turn. Next turn I'll hero it up massively. Renaissance era. It's turn 91. Ugh, admittedly, if I knew how to skew era score a little bit better and I knew how to manipulate the way that the game went through the ages, I probably would have pushed it like three or four turns later. I don't know. I've got no idea. Terracotta army has been built. Christo Redentor has been built. Torre de Belém has been built. We really are just like divide and conquering all of the wonders around our empire at the moment. But as discussed before, Hick Sunk Draconis, three starting population for cities on a different continent. Let me just uh, take you through this turn that I've loaded up. Let's count them together. We've got one city, we've got two cities, we've got three cities, we've got four cities. That's five cities, six cities, seven cities, eight cities, nine cities. We, yeah, we really did load this up quite a lot. Is that it? No, 10 cities. These are all on different continents. So they all start with four pop. That's pretty good. Oh, no, hang on. No, I, there was more. I thought there was more. 11 and 12. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a mess. We'll have to... I have to figure that out. I think it's probably unleashed quite a bit of unhappiness across my empire there, but never mind. Oh, settlers are a lot more expensive now. A lot more expensive. I think we've kind of almost reached the limit of where we're going to settle, which is mad and slightly disappointing. Yeah, I, I, I can see other people's attempts at this game and oh my lord, there's been a lot of settlements, but I haven't quite got there. I said 50 at the beginning, didn't I? About 50 cities. I'm up now to 65. So I, again, pretty good good like I'm, I'm fairly happy with my attempt but this is this is tough man you have to be you have to be a more optimized player than myself to get more than than i've done and uh yeah no fair play oh yeah i got a lot of points that last turn i think i've got about 200 points in one turn and we've got the statue of liberty now and the panama canal now yes that's actually not a million miles away from the sort of Suez canal and hermitage this literally i chopped down about nine woods to get this one and and i i, I mean ecological nightmare to build that thing but we did it rocket tree i in my head okay in my head i had a situation where i could delete hercules or at least like have him get destroyed and then resume him bring a like a like a spaceport to my capital and then somehow get a project out before the uh, game ended I, I don't know how feasible that is to be honest with you, that could be could be a bit ridiculous, but never mind. My golden faith now, I am just going to start getting more great people in. Uh, especially when I can do it and get a bunch of era score for it as well. This is a really good use of my faith in gold. Yeah, perfect. Lots of great people. St. Basil's Cathedral. Paprika was not enough. We're on to 2,725 score now. Excellent. Excellent. There's Hercules. Oh my lord, I really, really need to get a spaceport up, I think. Oh, if only I could get a bunch of great people that could boost space projects. Um, I think, I, maybe I don't give a huge amount of score, but it is a, quite a lot of score, so... 
tempted. I'm keeping an eye on all of the wonders that I'm building and just making sure that they're all in time. If I see a wonder and it's not going to get finished in time, I'll rush it with IFL, but I think at the moment we're okay. So there's quite a few different resource things and, and era score improvements that haven't been claimed yet. And yeah, neighborhoods, ginormous cities, horse unit, really? Sounds like I need to stop horsing around. Cheap little cavalry, that gives me some era score. Yeah, you know what, actually, this is a good time to make sure we've got a lot of these things. I think I needed to do a mountain tunnel. That was another thing. It's got a car park. It's an amazing wonder. It's a stadio. We get six culture per city as well as two amenities. I mean, that's huge. It's a big, big one. And the Hungarian parliament, I believe. That's more diplo favor. I'm not going to try and pronounce that because it's too scary. Yeah, my attention has massively pivoted now. We are basically doing nothing but wonders, era score, and other things that get me general score that but I think Hercules uh, can get in a spaceport now. That's going to be one of the things that I'll rush through quickly, like so. Stuff like this. Basically, yeah, anything I can get. Five turns left. Chichen Itza is built. We've taken to the skies. 2,900 era score, by the way, or score generally. Yeah, 3,000 was my target. I'm happy with this. This is, this is good. I'll check this out. This is my first plane, and it gives me aluminium for three era score and fighter for six era score. So it's nine era score just from buying one unit there. Amazing. One thing I should really consider is whether or not it makes sense for me to kill the city states. I've got five turns left and I don't know if the score is better to because like ultimately look what it's doing to my economy this this is the thing I'm getting so much from the city-state trade routes I mean, it's worth a little bit more empire score but the gold the gold alone I don't know I'm tempted to leave them I don't know if that's the right choice for score but I just I just feel like it is maybe if we could kill someone the last turn future era civic satellites global warming mitigation no wonders that turn though a little bit worrying even got some solar farms down every era score I can pick up. It all, it's all here. I've even got shipwrecks. I'm even building neighborhoods. What's going on? No joke, no joke. I just got the boost to synthetic technocrancy in a tribal village. What? I think I'm just going to stop asking. Like, what, what they do, uh, that's their business. I think a few wonders all on the same turn. Sydney Opera House. Angkor Wat, this is really good. That's one bonus population in every single one of my, like, 60 or 70 cities. Very good. Great Zimbabwe. Alhambra. Yep, that's four wonders all in the same turn. I like that. I like that a lot. John Rockefeller. And we've also got a great writer. I might pick up James Watt. Very cheap another three era score oh the wonder builder that's useful actually that's really useful because i did have my eye on ammons and scott like this would be tricky to do but in theory i could do it because there's the research lab so oh, there's, there's a couple of wonders we haven't quite been able to pull off i don't think we'll get all of them but we're gonna get very close a couple more wonders mont saint michel i oh, know that's it I, only the one wonder. Don't, don't worry about it. 3,200 score. Oh, turn 98. Remember, I get to let the turn roll over from 100 to 101. That is the point that we finish. There's an admiral. There's an artist. More great people. Oh, they're so cheap as well. These great people are so cheap. As long as I have less than half of their total points, I can buy them for four era score, which to me seems like a pretty good deal. This is a bit fun. Ferris wheel. Aquarium, Aquatic Center. Yay, look look how many cities this hits with a 10 city radius, which is actually nine on the tool. 16 city centers, it's pretty good. Great Library, University of San Cool. Look, I built it. I did the thing, everyone. Yay, Earth Satellite. Beep boop. Plus we've got Mahabodhi Temple. Oh, well that's annoying. <sighs> got sharp i miscalculated i deport him but if i move him over next turn to build Ammons and scott then it'll be turn 101 and i can't do anything this is literally the last turn i can do something so yep miscalculated on that one I might be able to do Golden Gate Bridge instead, which would be something. Depends on whether the movement gods are going to be friendly to me or not. To, oh, no, no, movement gods are not friendly to me. Movement gods dislike me royally. <laughs> That's annoying. Annoyingly as well, I'm just about to get to Future Civic. So I would have actually started to get a repeatable that gets me score. <laughs> just, I just, uh, I run out of time. Absorbs the city-state into my empire. You know what? Kamasi. 
on the last turn. I very much think that I'm going to do that. Thank you very much. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh, I have, I've got Broadway being built down here. I should have left Broadway, stuck it there, and then rushed it with the uh, Shah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, well, you know what? At least we can pretend that we're building a bridge between Ireland and Wales. That, that feels like a fun thing to do. Switching to digital democracy for a bit more era score. This is the last turn I can do anything. Oh, I should have spent my gold before switching. That was silly. <laughs> okay. You know, you can see, you can see there's, there's little bits of era score here and there, you know, that I've left on the table. I think we can all agree on that. You know, broadly speaking, I'm pretty proud. I'm just buying more great people now. I think this is by far the cheapest way to get more era score. Well, with my final little bit of gold, I'll just get another great person. But I think that's it. I think that's all we can do. So turn 100 over 100. Just gonna, you know, just, it doesn't matter. Chop, chop that. I'll press next turn and you can watch this through with me so you know that I'm being honest and I'm not doing anything untoward once the turn rolls over. I can't do anything on turn 101. I'm just letting turn 100 roll over to give me an accurate score. Looks like that might be 3,514. You know what? That's a pretty good score. I'm actually pretty happy with that one. You'll see a couple of animations. I should have timed this so that a bunch of wonders finished this turn. We'll see how accurate I am. There's Big Ben. That'll give me a better government and a little bit of gold had I actually kept hold of my gold, which, you know, I didn't. Oh, it's really thinking about this. I fell tower. That would have let me put down more national parks if I could have got that uh, earlier. Statue of Zeus, that was really quick. I was just rushing that through towards the end of the game. So I think there were three. Yeah, that was three wonders. Here you go, 3,514. We're not going to do anything else. I'm going to save the game here. There you go. I'll put the save file up on Discord. So if you want to come and have a look at my little, uh, well, I've got to actually submit it to Discord, haven't I, anyway? But you can come and have a look and see for yourself. But yeah, 3,514 score. I'm just having a look through Discord. Now, this is provisional because I haven't actually finalized the results. But I think I've got sixth, which is actually pretty good. So five people have beaten me. Wow. I, I can't wait to have a proper look at other people's save files. That's going to be crazy. But I am, I am really proud of myself that the first attempt for a flash run of that, literally doing it first time around, that's, that was pretty good. What would I have done? I felt like I was about 10 turns slow on the snowball. You, you've all seen the Civ snowball, right? As soon as we started putting cities out, you can just see how much of the map I covered. Marley was really good at that. Maybe I could have got more gold and I could have got the snowball rolling earlier because, I mean, look how much of the map I didn't settle. Like Asia is almost entirely empty. North America I barely got to. Yeah, I, I was missing about 10 turns of wandering settlers around the map. I also got Hicksunk Draconis way too early. If I could have stopped the era from progressing, maybe for about four or five turns, I'd have to figure out how to do that. I would have got Monumentality for longer, and I think that would have been a huge difference. There's also some wonders that I haven't finished. Golden Gate, Amundsen Scott, and then I think Broadway, Biosphere, Venetian Arsenal. So I missed out on five. I've got all other wonders to my knowledge. I mean, I've got some pretty mad cities, but yeah, they, these are all the wonders I've got. Just uh, like a whole list of them. I've pushed all of the great people well until the industrial era. Maybe I could have gone further. Maybe I could have pushed them into the modern era if I'd got a little bit more in the way of projects. But I had projects, at least two projects in every type running in my cities. That's one of the good things that Marley can do is projects. You don't get a production penalty on those. So good way of making sure that you're busy. I had 72 cities and only 64 trade routes so that just shows you I didn't have a sugarbutt in every city either so there was a little bit of a unoptimization it's all about speed isn't it my, my, yeah I, I took the advice of somebody on discord to send my second settler all the way down to Kilimanjaro was that the right thing to do should I have literally just plonked into the desert here and sent the next settler down to Kilimanjaro I don't know I don't know yeah interesting one and should I have saved golden gate for my capital that could have been a good idea as well to be fair then I could have golden gated there so anyway, that was a lot of fun. I had a huge amount of fun doing that. If you, yeah, let me know in the comments. What would you have done differently? What did you think I did well? What do you think I didn't do well? I mean, as I say, I only had one go at this. So I know what I would have a go at second time around. It's all about getting out quicker, getting the gold, the gold and the faith. I forget just how powerful Marley is. With Monumentality, you've already got a huge discount on Settlers. I think it's 30% off, right? So you take another 15% off with Marley, 45 and then the government gives you... Oh, no, sorry, it's 50, isn't it? Yeah, total. And then 65 once the government comes in and you're, you're buying Settlers for 35% cost. It's, it's big. 
That's really, really big. If I just find a city without a discount, this one, you can see that settlers are 4,000 gold. So that's the difference between buying a settler for 4,000 gold and 1,300. It's a huge difference. Yeah, I can see why people really like Marley. Like, yeah, I, 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 that was an eye-opener for me. That really was. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you really enjoyed this series and you think it was good fun, then if you don't mind giving the video a like and the channel a subscribe, it all massively helps. But I've got to go and make another series now. I better hurry and see you in the next video. Now, goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Hennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!